Hi there, I'm Amy, the creative director here at Blogettes. Today I'm gonna to share with you a little bit about one of my favorite tools to use in Photoshop, and that's the Creative Cloud Library. So it's the perfect way to store any graphics that you may need access to frequently, such as colors, logos, character styles, brushes, and so much more. So it's perfect when you need to access things frequently, say you're working for a specific client or one company, um, here at Blogettes, I use it all the time. It's a place where I can keep all of our color codes, our typefaces, our logos, or just anything that I need to access frequently. And I can access them in any Adobe program. So, it's so great. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up this how-to document. Here at Blogettes, we do a lot of how-tos, whether it's YouTube videos or blog posts. So, we like to create Pinterest graphics to promote those and we kind of like a consistent look. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to go over to my libraries panel. I'm going to click this top right drop down and do create new library. I'm going to name it how to Pinterest graphic. I'm going to hit OK. And then here's where you can drag and drop all of your assets. The first thing I'm going to do is hit this little plus sign here. And it's going to go ahead and give me some options of things I can choose. So it's going to choose character style, which would be this right here. Um, text color, which isn't so important because it's just white. But then it's also going to go ahead and pull this pink for me, which is one of our blogettes colors. So I'm going to go ahead and say add. And here we are. I'm going to go ahead and trash this one just because we don't need it. You can drag it down to the trash can. And then the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this, um, our Blogettes website, up to the top. So now I have that, so I'll never have to create that again. And then also our Blogettes logo. So now I have just like a few little parts here. Um, we often change out the colors so I could go back in and add another color and you do that easily by clicking on the color, hitting plus, and then adding another color. And then you can go double click inside and then just choose your new color option. And there you are. And there's one other way that you can create a library in Photoshop. We'll go ahead and exit out of here and no need to save. So then we'll open this document one more time and you'll see this dialog box that pops up and it goes ahead and it gives you the option to create a new library based off of that. So we'll go ahead and we'll say create new library and it just pulls the name that the document is saved as, so that's fine. And then here we are. So it pulled the color from the logo, it pulled the white again, it pulled the pink, and then all of the other character styles, as well as it pulled our photo for us, and then as you can see, the blog has logo. So that's another super quick way, and then if it ever creates anything that you don't want, again, you can just drag it to the trash, but it's super cool that it can automatically do that for you. So those were just some of the basics of things that you can do with the Creative Cloud Library. I hope that you learned something new in this video, and if you guys don't have Photoshop yet, there's a link below. You can sign up for a free 30-day trial or go ahead and purchase the Creative Cloud. Um, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks.